All right, all right. Uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakwadash. All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. We want to give our peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim, you know, that's pushing his word and our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, we say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and we say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness, you know, uh, we say we say shalom. Uh, we the brothers from GMS Mommy Camp, I mean, Brother Zakaria, Brother Sumaka, you know, Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of, of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kodash. You know, uh, I don't want Rathazan, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, and you know, in our lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kodash, it's going to be basically on a time of war, man, because according to the scriptures, according to the Holy Bible, hey, there's a going to be a third world's war, all right, which also going to lead to the destruction of America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, man, right? and the Lord is going to gather all these nations up in the middle, the so-called Middle East, and he's going to destroy their armies, man, and also that land of Israel that's uh, inhabited by those imposters, that land going to be destroyed because the holy people are not in that land right now, the holy that's people right. are us, like the Israelites, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12, to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and the Lord's going to destroy that land, and we're going to go back in, and you heathens going to build it up. So we're just going to roll through the Spirit, uh, going into World War III, man. Mm -hmm. Going through what the, the words of the Lord. We're just going to bring it out. You got it, brother. Come, come. So we're going to go to the book of Ecclesiastic, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, mm -hmm. and... um. You know, we'll start at one and then we'll get to the point. To everything, there is a season mm -hmm. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Yeah, so there's a time and there's a season, all right, according to the Heavenly Father, which the Heavenly Father, his name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's right. All right, who the world even called God and Jesus Christ, all right? They, they have a certain uh, uh, plan that goes according to their wills at certain seasons, man. Mm -hmm. All right, just like you have winter comes, then you have fall, uh, winter, summer, fall, those different uh, uh, seasons come mm -hmm. at, at their time. That's how the Lord is about to bring judgment at different time periods. You gotta That's right. And we're in the season of judgment. That's right. Great war, great famine. Uh, you can read down. Can come, come. Verse 2. A time to be born and a time to die. Yeah, so according to the scriptures, in the last days, it's going to be perilous times. So a lot of people going to be get, get put to death, man. Yep. All right, because y'all not serving the Lord. And the true people who serve the Lord is, is, a, is, a, is us Israelites, man. But the Lord, he going to judge you nations. Why? Because y'all rebelled against the Lord and y'all uh, 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 looked down upon his people. So y'all got to be judged. And ultimately, all y'all nations, all right, is going to go into slavery. You that's know? right. That's right. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. And America's about to be plucked up, all right? You're about to be rooted. The Lord's about to destroy this place, man. Mm -hmm. All right, Esau, even a so-called white man who's ruling, he's about to get, his rulership about to get plucked up, and the Lord's going to plant a, a righteous kingdom started with our Lord Yahweh Shah when he returns. That's right. Uh, three, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of killing, man. Because this third world's war is going to be shot with nuclear missiles, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and scriptures, according to the scriptures, 200 million nuclear warheads going to hit this place. And that's why we turn our people to repent. All right, we're not like these other Israelites groups, IUIC, ISUP, ISUPK, and all those. They want to debate and things like that. No, we're watching for prophecies so we may be be able to escape all right, in the day of the Lord's wrath. You got it, brother. Come uh, you said uh, 200 million uh, nukes, right? Right. So uh, there's a scripture that backs that up. Yeah. I know it's in Revelation. Right. Uh, was it? Um, six? Revelation 6. I thought it was 16. 16, yeah. It's 16, right? 16, yeah. Yep. Um, Bear with me. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 16. And... Um, uh, what was it? Um... All right, let me type it out because I thought I thought it was in sixteen. Uh, uh, thousand horses. Thousand horses. Six. Eight, eight. Thousand horses. Because that's a good. You brought that out. Thousand horses. Um, let's see. That. Oh no, actually, it's a thousand, thousand. Thousand year. Right. Thousand, thousand, and thousand. Just to back that up, you know, so that um. Yeah. To edify, like, edify the whoever's new. Thousand, thousand. I, I believe that's. When, yep, Revelation 9 and 16. Nine, okay. yeah. Hey, that's that di dyslexia. The, uh, <laughs> Revelation chapter 9, verse uh, 
You know what? I'll start at 14. 14, yep. yep. Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. Yeah, so the Lord got angels over in the great river Euphrates, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so you said that the Lord, the Lord has the uh, angels on the four winds right, to hold back, for the four corners of the earth to hold back that wind, meaning that destruction, until he let be sealed. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, brother. And, um, Simultaneously, you have the angels stirring up that region, yep. all right, to make sure that these nations go to war mm -hmm. with each other, all right, because the Lord's about balance. Like, right. the nukes are not going to fly until that chip is made mandatory, right. but the angels are still working on the minds of these leaders, these different countries, yep. all right, especially these Edomites to get into that World War Three mentality, all right? And the two major uh, superpowers, which the Lord's going to use, are the uh, Russians and America, which they're Edomites, Yep. okay? Um, continue on 16 and the number, excuse me, and 15 and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the third part of men is Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Cause you got, you got the sons of the most high, which mm -hmm. are us, the Israelites, mm -hmm. you got the sons of men, which are the other nations. And you got the sons of the wicked, which is Esau Edom. He's a, he's a third, he's a third part of men. You got mm -hmm. the 16 and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them, yes. all right? So this is going into those, those nuclear warheads, mm -hmm. man. All right, you got it, brother. Con, right, because and all you got to do is Google, all right? Uh, each nuclear warhead can hold, okay, uh, uh, freaking between 50 to 100, all right, uh, uh, nuclear missiles inside of them, mm -hmm. all right? And, and they show it, like, what happens. All right, that that the head of the nuclear uh, warhead, uh, that capsule, it opens up, and all these little nuclear warheads come out, yeah. and they start okay blowing, okay, d destroying. All right, yep. so it's not far fetched that two hundred million can hit this place, and it is not just Russia. Okay, it's Iran, China, as well as NATO and any other nation that the Lord put the spirit on to make sure they have a nuke to destroy America. That's right. Okay, uh, there's a little bit more on that. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen, and thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and adjacent and a brimstone and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions because mm -hmm. the power of the of the missile is in the in the warheads in the in the, um, mm -hmm. in the head man mm -hmm. just like a power of a lion is in his teeth right all right and it said what it had a read, read that here brother Come. and thus i saw the horses in the vision so it was so it's, it's a symbolic it's yeah not, it's not a physical horse right it, it basically, John was describing it to the best of his ability, right. using the words in those times, mm -hmm. all right? And this is code word for, really, because only elect will understand. Right. Y'all will understand when the missiles are, okay, <laughs> are, are pound, pounding right. you out. That's when y'all going to understand. And them that sat on them having breastplates of fire yep. and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. Mm -hmm. And out of their mouths issued fire... And smoke and brimstone. Yeah, so that's 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 how you know it's not talking about a horse. It's talking yeah. about those missiles. Yep. Like like brother said, when the when the uh the part that the the air the um, warheads come off, man. Yep. With fire. You yep. Know? Yep. The, that that's the, the again the mouths are those talking about those nuclear warheads. Right. Fire, smoke, and brimstone. Eighteen by these three was the third part of men killed. All right, talking about you Edomites because the bulk of Edomites are going to die in World War Three. That's right. By the fire and by the smoke. Oh, and America. Okay? America. Babylon the Great. This place is going to be decimated. Mm -hmm. All right? And a lot of you Edomites dwell here in America. So you're going to be decimated. Yep. All right? By these three was the third part of men killed. By the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths. Mm -hmm. Those warheads. Right. Okay? It's 19. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. Right. Okay. Let's come out the uh when they sweeps all about they come out the silo. Mm -hmm. All right. They come they're gonna come out the silo, mm -hmm. go to that one on one part of the earth into another. Let me get that real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this uh it's like this um second address. Cause our like like Bishop Lloyd always say our forefathers was way ahead of their time because mm -hmm. the Lord put them on. Yep. You know, so they they described it in in their language. Uh, yep. I mean, how, the best they they could. Mm -hmm. This book is Second Edges chapter sixteen, in verse Second Edges sixteen to verse thirteen. It says, "For strong is his is his right hand that bendeth the bow; his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, 
and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the end of the world. So that's not talking about an actual arrow. That's talking about those missiles that's going to be shot from one continent to another. Why are they called intercontinental ballistic missiles? Because they're going to come from one part of the world to another. Yep. You know, and of course, the military has a term called broken arrow yep. when they're missing a nuke or they, ha they, they can't account for a, um, a nuclear missile. They don't have, they don't know the whereabouts are, so they call it Broken Arrow. In fact, they did a movie on it with John Travolta, John Travolta, and Christian Slater. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, so because th that's the thing, the um, you know, these elites, you know, these uh, the uh, the the rulers, of the, even in the military, they know we're telling the truth, man. Right. They know we got the truth, man. And that's why they try to do their best to, for us not to get. Uh, seen in the public, but it's too late, man. Right. The, the Hebrew Israelite is out of out of the back. Yep. That's why people walk away. They don't want to argue with us anymore. They yeah. just put their head down and, and just go real fast because they know yeah. what we are about. All right, okay. And they can't and they can't contend when it comes to the scriptures. That's why they're just like fuck. I'm just gonna ignore them. You know, <laughs> you see, we see all the time yeah. in Miami. Yeah. They just walk past real quickly. Edomites. They, they all right. They, okay. The only ones that want to buck up are the JJs. Yeah. All right, and even they, they they get cut and they go they walk away. Yeah. You know, you uh you fake gutter rats, you know, Balfour Declaration Muppets, you yeah. know, thinking that you're the chosen and you clearly are not. You're not. All right, look at that. What's going on in the Middle East? Total chaos. Right. It said when the children of Israel will be in the Middle East, or will be in the, the in the homeland. Right. I don't we don't even like to use the word Middle East because Yah created that term. Yeah. All right. But it, the scriptures say when we are back in our homeland, there'll be no war. Right. There'll be peace. All right, nobody will learn war any, ever again. Y'all been in that land since 1948, and there's been nothing but chaos and war since right. 1948. All right, to this very day. So that proves that you can't be the chosen people. Right. You're not fulfilling prophecy. You're not. <laughs> all right. Um, 19, for their powers in their mouth and in their tails, all right, that's where the, the propulsion, the tails, it goes up, you know, when you see come out of the silo, you see the, the fire come from the back to put, to make sure to give the, the, the missile, all right, strength to, so that it can go over the Atlantic and pound Babylon the Great. Right. And the Russians been testing it. The Russians love testing their missiles. And Putin said, all right, hey, you keep, okay, uh, uh, fucking around in, in my backyard, man. We going to use them nukes. Yeah. All right, because he's pissed off that the West, mainly America, is giving, all right, uh, these long-range weapons to Ukraine. Right. All right, and giving them money and all that shit. Technically, if you really want to look at it, World War Three is literally in piecemeal. Yeah. All right, because there's a proxy war between, okay, America and Russia. All right, and America's using Ukraine to go against Russia. All right, that's an act of war. Mm -hmm. All right, but the reason why they're not banging so hard is because the chip, the RFID chip, which we're gonna keep saying over and over again, yeah. like a broken record. If you don't like it, change the channel. Go watch the distraction of P Diddy. Right, and that proves that you're wicked because yeah. if you didn't know P Diddy was was it wicked and evil and sinister all these years, all right, you're wicked. Right. All right, you're part of the problem. All right, you deserve to eat a nuke. Yeah. Okay. Um, for you, you fucking hip hop muppets, and bug outs. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, man, yo, they always taking down the black man. Thirty years, no, uh, he was a demon. Yeah. Thirty years, he made our people, all right, do all types of wicked shit. Right, all right, our people have been poisoned with the the shit that he pushed out. Yeah. All right, into the into our people's um spirits, man. Yeah. All right, he was a demon, man, yeah, a warlock. He, he had enough money to help Jake. He never helped Jake. Man. Nah, yeah, yeah. He, do, he just like raping Jake. That's yeah. what he like to do. He's a fucking a sicko. Fucking weirdo. All right. 19. For their powers in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents and had heads. And with them they do hurt. Yeah, and they do hurt. Mm. All right. So the Lord's going to gonna stir up these countries to shoot missiles upon this place, man. Mm -hmm. And these people, they're not ready. They're into their folly. That's why the Lord said he's going to come up on them like a thief in the night, man. Mm -hmm. They hard going to drop when they hear those nuclear sirens, man. That's right. You know. You want to jump down back to Ecclesiastes? Yeah, Bible yeah. Christianity. So we're going to jump down to the point. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Yeah, you see, clearly it's hate. All right, those, those um, Amalekites, like right, 1948, they, they bombing the shit out of those uh, Lebanese mm -hmm. people, man. Or uh, so-called um, uh, so Lebanese. They really Ishmaelites, man. Yep. All right? Yep. Russia... 
these different countries, they don't care. Even in America, the souls of these people, they just hit scripts here because of Nikki Shall Abound and Love Minis is going to wax cold, man. Right. Time of hating now is a time of war, man. It's not, a, it's not a time of love. And war, you know, the, you went to war, so you could test one of the, you have a testimony on that. Hey, it's gruesome. You just look at the movies and look at different like uh, clips online. Man. Yep, yep. You know? Yeah, that's all you see is blood, body parts. All right, people mourning, people crying. Okay, fear. Yep. Okay, uh, um, loss of loved ones. That's war, man. And that's what the Lord is bringing to the whole world. Uh, Second Edris, you know, uh, fifteen. Yep. Won't. Woe to Asia. Woe to Babylon. Yep. Woe to Syria. That's a good one right there. Yep. Because hey, man, you know. I mean, I, I would saw some clips from that uh, the the the, um, the the bombing that I uh, the JJs did to them um, to Hezbollah, all right, they, and they didn't even get uh, uh, mainly all of Hezbollah. They got women and children. They yeah, got because that's another thing for you proud ass Americans, man. All right, anytime there's war, man. All right, the most people that the people that get the brunt of the war is mainly civilians. Yeah. All right, they're the casualties of war. Okay, all right. For the most part, you know, we and, that, and I, when I went to war, that's all I saw: women and children, mainly. Okay, right. fucked up, man. Yep. All right, and 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 certain men. All right, they couldn't even get the fucking insurgents. All right, and then that's when uh, some of these American soldiers were bugging out. All right, killing civilians like it was fucking like a video game because yeah. they didn't know who was who. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why they were like, uh, 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 we don't, we, uh, uh, we don't know. All right, just uh, you know, you have to. We have to call it in if you, in order for you to engage, and and so that's why they they made us all. You know, you have to first flag them down, wave, and and, and point the weapon at them, and do all this stupid shit. Because all right, they wanted to minimize civilian casualties, but that's war is, is yeah. don't fucking matter, man. Yeah, that shit gonna go out the window. That's just gonna go out the window. You don't, especially here in America, yeah, these people are lawless. All right, well, like that guy, that movie, The Civil War. I was thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of American are you? Like that fucking. That's funny because uh, 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 that this fucking weirdo fake JJ, um, uh, uh, the Facebook owner, what's his name? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. He's now coming out talking about he's a libertarian. What? After all this shit, you don't did, you don't yeah. spy, you don't you don't helped out the the, the the Democrats. Now you're a libertarian. Yeah. So so you got memes of the Civil War character saying, "What kind of American yeah, are you?" Yeah. Shit is funny, man. Shit is funny, but that's how you know a civil war is coming to America, which is going to allow Russia, China to take advantage of it, yep. and Iran, all right? Who you think is going to fund this civil war, all right? Mm -hmm. Russia, China, Iran, they're going to they're gonna use the disgruntled Americans as proxies to go fight against the, the federal government, man. That's right. what's coming, man. Yep. All right? That's what's coming. They have that um in that movie, Leave the World Behind, those pamphlets. Yep, you know yep, I mean? yep. Oh, real quickly. Man, see, hey, hey, this is the spirit. It's just because that's why you got to be paying attention to what's going on, man. You got to be focused on the news, man, because things are happening. So um, the mayor of New York City that's yeah. now being indicted. Uh, Eric, Eric Adams. Eric Adams. I was looking at, I was looking at him. Too. Right, right. That's crazy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a clip of him going out because and saying the system, it's on, on X. Uh, brothers and sisters, I recommend get X and get your algorithm right because yeah. you're going to see all types of juicy material. They don't take it down. It's like... For free for all X, they even got white supremacists on there having a platform now. Yeah. All right, so and they definitely don't like you, Jakes. So you fucking oh, I, I yeah, love the I'm white man. man. Fucking, right. you need to watch some of them videos. These they want to fucking destroy you anyway. So Elon Musk basically gave everybody a platform. But there's a video circulating where Eric Adams is saying that all right, the, the and this is why they they're, they're now um, basically throwing him under the bus yeah. because he's going against the migrants. He's basically saying, like, it's not right that all these migrants are coming from Venezuela. We also have Russian-speaking migrants coming through the border, all right? And we can't house them. We don't know. He said Russian-speaking. Mm. Why, why would he say that, right. all right? This is the mayor of New York City saying Russian-speaking migrants are entering into the border because it's time, man, yeah. all right? All these, this, this whole border thing, all right, is really a setup for a, um, an implosion for, okay, these, these other nations what the scriptures talk about, a caterpillars. Yeah. These foreign soldiers that come in and fuck this place up. What is it, a caterpillars? Jeremiah. And Jeremiah, yeah. Uh, lawyer, uh, Bishop Lawyer always brings this out. Yeah, he always brings this out. Um, what is it, caterpillars? Let me type it in. All right, because that's, hey, World War Three is going to be, you're going to see, before the nukes okay. drop, you're going to see uh, foreign troops here on American soil, okay? 
I will fill these men with caterpillars. I will fill men with caterpillars, right. Because Eric Adams said, the mayor of New York City said, there was Ru uh, Russian migrants entering through the border and that, okay, we're coming to New York. And they and again, it was it was overwhelming, okay, the system. They're like, look, we can't afford all these migrants, all these people, all right? You need to do something, right. all right? Uh, it's, it's, a hurting, it's hurting the poor. And it really, it does. Where do you, the, the economy of New York and, and Miami, they're only set for a certain amount of people, yeah. all right, at a time. When you have an influx of all these new personnel coming into a, a system that's already saturated, all right, with, with the current uh, jobs, you know, the supply and yeah, demand, yeah. okay, how are they gonna be able to, okay, get these people to work? Well, all right, you, bad enough you got, most of our people are unemployed or barely, look, or can't find a job, right. you know? And so it's basically, it's, it's oversaturating the system and it's, it's harming the poor, it always harms the poor. Yeah. All right. And so that's what he was basically saying. And they were like, because a lot of, yo, your government's been sold out. They, and they want chaos in, in, in Babylon. So that's why now they're throwing them under the bus, yeah. you know, because of what, what he was saying. He saying yep. yep. But you got it. This is book, this is the book of Jeremiah. <clears throat> it's like a Jeremiah chapter 51 in verse 14. It says, the Lord of hosts have sworn by myself. It's like by himself, it's like the Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, mm -hmm. and they shall lift up a shout against thee. There you go. Yep. All right. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of uh, troops on the ground. And it's going to get crazy in this place, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brother. Uh, that was, I think that was it on that. Yep. Uh, Revelation chapter uh, 11. Verse 14, mm -hmm. the second world was passed, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. Yeah, so the second world was passed, talking about World War II. Mm -hmm. right? He said the third world coming quickly, meaning World War III is coming quickly. It's going to happen in our lifetime. Yep. All right, but the, like Brother uh, Samak been saying that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, has to be made mandatory because those who take it, y'all going to be a part of that fire. Man. Yeah. All right, you need to, our people they just think we just talking. All right, or it's a microchip. They want to chip everybody. Now we telling you, if you take that, you are gonna be a part of that fire. Bro. Right. That's you know? right. That's why you're seeing the the chip in the forefront. You know, Elon Musk, cryptocurrency, the whole system being all right pushed in front of you. while World War Three is coming right behind it. Dude, yeah. dude. It, yo, the Lord is 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 playing uh, chess, yeah. and Jake is playing games. Like the Lord is really setting up in motion. So that this World War Three goes down right after the chip is made mandatory. Yep. All right. That's why we're telling our people like, yo, you got to repent. Yep. All right. World War Three is coming. Now for us, we are excited. Yeah. All right. You got a hey, what's going on right now. You should be up in the spirit. Yep. If you if you call yourself a man of the Lord, if you call yourself. All right. A believer in Yahweh Bashem because all his words are coming to fruition. Yep. All right. It's not Terry anymore. We can get that. Uh, Habakkuk yeah, cool chapter too. two, because hey, the prophecies are moving, man. Yep. All right, they're moving. Okay, we're about to see the whole financial system change. Yep. All right, get ready. You're gonna see uh, uh, CBDCs, universal basic income. All right, the chips coming right there, and then behind the scene, this this dark cloud of yep. what World War War Three yep. coming in, and we're up in the spirit, man, because right. that means salvation is near sooner than we believe, man. Yep. That's our hope, man. All right, we're sick of this fucking place, man. This place. This place is vexing. It's all right. It's uh, you, you see all these people in their pride and their pump. Yeah. All right, here it is. There's women and children getting blown back to the Stone Age. All right, but these fucking people here in America are just like, oh man, you know, I, I just need, uh, I just want the economy to get better so I can buy more bullshit. All right, so I can go to a uh, uh, Dolphins game. Dolphins <laughs> game. Yeah. All right. So to the fuck bar. to the bar. Yeah. I just want the economy to get better. The economy's not gonna get better. Same karaoke. All right, you stupid fucking idiots. All right, they've been printing money from the from the fucking all right to infinity and beyond. All right, okay. They, the economy's not gonna get better. I and mean, then that, that's a simple-minded person to say some shit, thinking that Trump or Kamala is gonna help them out with their financial problems. No. Shit, all right. Good. This shit is. Oh, they keep first the Federal Reserve. All right, which is a private entity. All right, it's. Literally, all right, destroying the American dollar, right. and it was done by design, all right, to put you in a trap for that chip, right. cast the society. That's why now crypto is now the new hot thing. Yeah, because they want you, they want total control. They want to see what you buy and sell. Yep. Okay, and then they're gonna say you want to continue buying and selling. Here's the chip. Yeah. All right, and you take that chip. Guess what? Missile, nuclear warhead on your head, man. That's right. But you got it. Yep. This book of Habakkuk chapter 2, I just get to the point, verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. I mean, these prophecies, man, the, the, the judging of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, 
But at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So these prophecies is not tearing. They're going they coming fast, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why that's why Elder Pastor Hart said, man, you, you gotta stay locked in because if you miss a day, you miss a lot. Miss and that's lot. true. Mm -hmm. You know, you miss you miss a day of not watching, man. You're gonna miss a whole, you're gonna miss this war toss, you're gonna miss the uh, uh what the brothers the different lessons, yep. you know. So yep. we gotta stay locked in as much as we can. You know, yep. no, we got our day to day life, but you gotta stay locked in the spirit, man. That's right. That's right. That's why the apostles push out through a lesson a day. All right. All right. Because it gets you engaged. All right. And this truth, man, it gets you engaged and, and it, it, it forces you. All right. Which you shouldn't need to be forced. You should be okay, excited. You should yeah. be wanting to bring out the truth. This is the truth. Right. All right. We're the Israelites. The Lord's doing this for so that we can be delivered, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so you should be excited, man, to want to do a lesson for the Lord. All right, and again, and and that's another thing. What I what, what I mentioned to you when you when you uh, came over, you know, um, uh, I did a lesson where, you know, in, in one of my in one of the lessons, I was like, hey, there's nothing wrong bringing out the same precepts over and over again. All right, there's nothing wrong that to bring out a precept that okay, that's the milk scriptures. All right, you don't have to be deep, man. Okay, you can bring out the the the, the milk scripture there deep enough. Yeah. If you ain't got a lesson, man. Right. All right. There's so many things to talk about. All right. There's so many topics. So if 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 you feel like oh you know oh that lesson's already been done. Okay, I don't, um you know that's pride, man. Yeah. That's pride. Don't let that don't let that sing into you, man. You should be all right pushing this out because hey, oh it's one if one person sees it, okay, that's all that matters. Right. And you know who's watching. All right. It, okay, it's either the elect or these elites. Right. Okay, so it's a win-win. These yeah. elites are fucking mad at us. All right, and we hey, we can't wait till they shut this this down. We're looking forward to. It. That's why we keep pushing it. We want them to shut the internet the internet down. Yeah. All right, because that's when real hell's coming. Okay, to America, because if we if we can't teach anymore, hey, that means the, the elect is sealed. Now it's time for judgment. Right. All right. That's why. That's another reason why the apostles are saying push this. Uh, put it push out of the lessons day you know day in and day out to the best of your ability right. you know we all have measurements but it should be in your spirit, in your spirit okay yeah. like you said like uh if one person come back coming to the truth they hear they understand it hey the scripture said the angels in heaven rejoices man there you go you know and mm -hmm. i got a preset the back, back yeah. that up yep. too. this is james chapter 5 and verse uh 19 says brethren if any of you do err from the truth and one converted him let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Mm -hmm. and so, so someone erring from the truth, you know, they they ain't caught up in the world, and you you convert, you know, through the spirit power, about you, my child, you bring it out and put that fear back into them, and you save the soul from death. And what you uh, cover the multitude of your sins. That's man. right. That's, that's right. why this teaching is so important, man. That's right, man. You know, you know, and and hey, man, we, this is the truth, man. And what we're seeing right here is cultivating our faith, you know, this, the, you know, World War Three, you know, and, and, you know, the elect are being sealed, man. Yeah. And, and, and brothers and sisters are being excited, man. Yeah. So, you know, you, you know, don't have that doubt spirit, man. Yeah. yeah that don't, doubt, that sad, I'm depressed. You know, that, demons try to message you. Yeah. Let that shit yeah. bother you. Great. Right. Because things are happening. Yeah. We know we got to go work and play this game with this fucking devil Esau in his system, but... Hey man, this is only temporary. Yep. Shit is going down. Right. You know, I mean, they got Trump talking about uh, he's going, he's willing to blow up Iran to smithereens if they attempt to assassinate, okay, him or our candidate. Yeah. So Trump on that war mode with Iran, which is beautiful. Because yep. hey, he been wanting to fuck up Iran. All right. He been wanting to go at Iran when he was president the first time, yep. but it wasn't time for the elected. And that's and that's another reason. Okay. And that was another thing. That's another. <laughs> um. Hey. And, and and I will end with this. Hey, the reason why the Lord has to destroy this place with missile fire, all right, is really is for the elect's sake, man. Right. That's really is. He wants, hey, he wants the elect to be sealed, all right, and to, all right, be delivered. Yeah. That's the reason why. Because remember, all right, um, they've been wanting to get out Iran back in, and and when 9/11 kicked off, all right. Remember, uh, General Wesley Clark. He's they had they, the Pentagon gave him a memo that they wanted to hit. Yeah. Seven uh, middle so-called Middle Eastern countries, and the final one was Iran. Mm -hmm. All right, and they wanted to do it within five years. That was right after 9/11, right. and it's been 20 years now. So why why didn't why weren't they able to execute this okay diabolical plan? Because they're 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 on the Lord's time. Yep. All right, 
Okay, the Lord's not on their time, they're on the Lord's time. And again, it was for the elect sake, yeah. all right? The elect of Israel to be sealed, yep. all right? That's where you, you brought out Revelation 7, hold the four winds back, yeah. all right? Because when when the time, which I'm going to speak it as a man, if Trump becomes president, I think he is, he's going to help out them JJs and get into war, war with Iran, and that's going to set off World War Three, And it's going to move, it's going to move and get ready for, all right, for the bodies to drop, yeah. but... But the deliverance as well, man. That's right. Because Yahweh Shai is coming in the midst of it to deliver us. That's right. Okay? Connor, you can read that again and then go into how the Lord, like the kingdom's going to be our Lord Yahweh Shai. We end off on that. Yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second world was passed, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. The third world's world cometh quickly. You got it, brother. 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdom of the kingdoms, the kingdoms, plural, mm -hmm. of this world. Yep. All right, this current world mm -hmm. are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, and he shall reign forever and ever. Yeah, so this this third world war is going to ultimately lead to the everlasting kingdom of Israel, man. Where we're going to have peace, we're going to live forever. All right, we're going to have rest, we're going to be able to fly. All right, <laughs> like about the other parts of the video, we want to fly, man. Right. You know, we're going to have this, those the laws in our inward part. We're not going to see them, we're not going to see our people bugged out. Yep. Our, our, our women whores, our our our, our brothers, our right, sodomites and shit like that, man, of our of our nation. They're going to be in their right mind. They're going to be not sprung out on drugs. Exactly. All right, we're going to be a praise in the earth. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's it, man. That's right. Hey, nah, man, that, that's perfect. That's a perfect way to end this. So, um, yeah, you know, low woolen, this less is edifying. Hey, World War Three is coming. It's inevitable. All right. That's why you got to be on your watch. All right. Stay prayed up. Okay. Be watching and stay engaged, like the apostles say. You know what I'm saying? And uh, minimize the, the bullshit distractions. Yeah. All right? That whole Diddy shit, that is a, a, a major distraction. They did that, that shit on purpose because mm -hmm. they don't want you to see what's going on with the wars, all right? And all the bills that are being uh, passed and all the, the, the pacts, right? The United Nations pact, right. all right? For um, the, the, the digital ID and all that stuff. So a lot of things are happening, all right? Which is leading to what? The destruction in this place and our salvation. So right. with that, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who grew well and taught us the truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. And citation to the Akim out there pushing this truth to sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai's sake. Love you, brothers. Keep the door. Keep the faith. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep studying. Pray without ceasing. season. Pray for each other. Pray for the apostles and elders. As you can see, we're almost out of here. That's right. Stay prayed up. Stay pushing. All right. To the fuses that are watching, keep studying. And when you pray, pray with your head covered. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.